Ladies and gentlemen, I'm out in Golden, Colorado at the Yeti Cycles headquarters looking at some fancy new bikes. So today Yeti is launching yet another new bike, the SB140, a 27 5 inch epic trail bike monster that is kind of a do-it-all like all their bikes. But we're also going to take a look at their 2020 line holistically, which now only includes five bikes. A lot of killer colors, some upgrades to the build spec, and it's pretty cool to see them simplify it to three 29ers and two 27 5 bikes. Let's dive into the details. Before I dive into the 2020 lineup, I'll touch on some things that apply to all five bikes in the range. They've all got Yeti's no fine print, no BS lifetime warranty. I love seeing brands stand behind their products like that and Yeti is no exception here. They also have a great crash replacement program. So if you cartwheel you and your bike down the hill, they'll have your back with excellent pricing on a replacement frame if need be. All bikes are offered in a C-Series and T-Series carbon layup. T-Series bikes are the top shelf, no expenses spared, premium carbon layup frames with the goal of a perfect balance in stiffness and compliance. These C-Series bikes will retain the same strength and stiffness as the T-Series. However, the carbon and manufacturing method is a bit more cost effective, lowering the price point and adding about 200 grams to a frame weight. Geo, of course, is identical. Yet he continues to do this because it helps them put bikes at different price points for different people's wallets, which is awesome. The build kits across the board have seen some minor revisions here and there. For every single detail on that, check the link below in the video description for our article that accompanies this video, which has every possible thing laid out all in one place. The colorways, graphics, and just the simplification of the bike offering in general are the main things to focus on here. And of course, the two new 27.5 bikes. Starting with the newest bike, the SB140, which is being announced today, Yeti's new 27 5 inch wheeled 140 mil travel trail slayer. We made a standalone video just on this bike, so check that out if you're interested in the finer details. The new SB140 is essentially replacing the iconic SB5. It's the new do-it-all one quiver bike that will be ideal on a wide range of terrain and just be a super fun and playful rig. My initial ride on it was killer. It's playful, it's practical, and really just does a good job of replacing the SB5, but it's touched with some more modern geometry, longer reach, slacker head tube angle, steeper C tube angle, and offset fork. Every time I hop on a 27.5 bike, I remember how much more flickable and agile they are than a 29er. One isn't better than the other. They're just fun in their own unique ways, and it's fun to switch it up. So stoked to see so many bike brands continue to still make good new modern bikes in both wheel sizes. This bike is coming in three different colors, turquoise, inferno, which is a bright orange that looks epic in direct sunlight, and a gray. Frame only options starting at 3,499 and five complete bike build options, three T-series and two C-series ranging from 53.99 to 82.99. Next up, the SB165. This 165 mil travel 27.5 Monster dropped a couple weeks ago. Um, it's basically the bike that essentially replaced the SB6. We made a whole video just on this bike at release, so make sure to check that out to dig into the details there. The 165 pedals surprisingly better than you'd imagine and feels like there's nothing it can't conquer on the downhills. Seriously impressive bike and seems to handle anything without a flinch. Available in turquoise or black colorways, frames running 3,999, complete bikes offered in two C-series and three T-series builds, ranging from 5,599 to 8,799. 
Moving over to the three 29ers in the lineup, you've still got the same three as last year with no major changes. The SB100, 130, and 150. Some different colors, graphics, and build options are all that's taking place. These models are still fresh, modern, and at the top of their class. A huge amount of the staff here is on one of these three 29ers, and they're the most common bikes demoed in our stores amongst all brands. The SB100 Yeti's XC slash trail offering is still coming in black and turquoise with a Fox 34 step cast fork that has 120 mil travel up front. Frame only options running 3399, completes coming in two C series builds and three T series builds ranging from 5099 to 7899. The SB130, now looking nice and stealth, along with all the 2020 bikes, retains its geo and adds some build kit options. This has been our most popular Yeti over the last year because of its speed and versatility, just an all around kick-ass bike. Colors are Storm, Turquoise, and Gray, frames starting at $34.99, and complete bikes offered in three T-Series and a T-Series Lunch Ride build, and two C-Series and a C-Series Lunch Ride build. The Lunch Ride builds are just the beefier version that Yeti does, and they feature 10 mil more travel in the fork, 160 as opposed to the normal 150, some more stout tires, 200 mil front rotor instead of 180, 800 mil wide bars instead of 780, more stout DT wheels and more powerful code brakes. I love seeing all these build options and Yeti just really staying in tune with what parts spec people want on their bikes these days and giving you plenty of options. The SB150, Yeti's full bore Enduro World Series race winning machine, keeps its spot on geometry, 150 mil rear travel and 170 mil Fox 36 up front. Now coming in a gray colorway alongside the turquoise of course, three T-series builds and two C-series ranging from $56.99 to $85.99 with frames coming in at $37.99. Minor revisions to build kits along with a Shimano XT build offer now. And that's it. Yeti has simplified their bike lineup to just five models, but they are still offering a nice wide range of colors and build kit options to keep everyone happy. I love the new understated graphics, the overall simplicity of the bike line, the 170 mil cranks, and just that Yeti keeps their finger on the pulse of the industry and what people are looking for in terms of geometry and part spec. Impressive stuff that totally justifies the premium price point. Don't forget to check out those other videos dedicated to the SB140 and 165, and to check the link below to the article with more photos and all the details laid out on one big page. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments of Yeti's new lineups and uh, hit that subscribe button and we'll talk to you guys next time.